PCI is a very uh, simple process. Currently 38 of our commercial south forms are using PCAI. It, it, it runs smooth. It, um, it's a really good system and it works well. We are DNA Genetics. Best people, best pig, best genetic option. Hello, I'm Dr. John Sonderman, Technical Services Director with DNA Genetics. Every day, we help producers compete and succeed in the pork industry. One of the key ways of passing genetic advancements onto you is through post-cervical artificial insemination, commonly known as PCAI. PCAI is a technique that deposits a semen in the body of the uterus. Compared to conventional AI, which deposits the semen in the cervix. My role is that of genetics program specialist. What that entails is working with multiplier herds and commercial customers to make sure that they are maximizing their potential genetic gain within their own systems. One of the best ways to help maximize that genetic gain is through the use of PCAI. PCAI is just as effective as artificial insemination as far as number born alive and conception rate when properly trained and it comes with so many more additional benefits. Bottom line, PCAI creates genetic lift. There's a lot of advantages in the PCAI. Um, bore power is one big thing. Um, time management, um, conception rate is better. Our customers love the PCAI. They would never go back because it's so much simpler, so much more accurate and it's just, it just works so much better for them. This video will outline the PCAI technique step by step. We'll also point out some key advantages that PCAI provides in time, labor savings, and rapid genetic improvement. To perform PCAI, the equipment you'll need will be material to clean the vulva, bactericide and non-spermicidal lubricating gel, semen doses at preservation temperature, and a set of post-cervical cannula and driving catheter known as soft and quick. Semen can be stored in the bag inside a semen cooler. Semen should be checked prior to use. Semen for PCAI is typically packaged in two different forms. The most common form is a multi-dose bag that is capable of holding up to 70 doses. Semen is also available in bags that contain 20 or 35 doses to accommodate a variety of needs. Detect positive standing reflex using a heat check bore and wait a minimum of 30 minutes before beginning the PCAI process. Clean the sow's vulva. Remove the soft and quick items from the sterile bag located in the catheter cannula kit. Be careful not to let catheters touch the floor while sows are waiting to be inseminated. Notice the tip of the catheter is closed. This will guarantee the sterility of the cannula until its introduction through the cervix. Apply lubricating gel onto the tip of the catheter. Introduce the catheter cannula kit as you normally would with traditional AI. Press firmly on the cannula, about one to two centimeters, so that the plug of the catheter opens. Position the red line on the top so the exit holes face towards the uterine horns. Then wait a couple of minutes so that the cervix relaxes. Pass the cannula through the dilated cervix by sections of one to two centimeters until it arrives at the body of the uterus. Inseminate by squeezing the dose at preservation temperature, which is 15 to 17 degrees Celsius. After the semen introduction, take out the cannula approximately 25 centimeters. Then, move the catheter in a revolving motion for 7 to 10 seconds. Once the cervical stimulation has finished, take out the catheter cannula kit. Here are some additional tips. Do not let catheters touch the floor while sows are waiting to be inseminated. Insert a new catheter for every use to prevent the risk of infection. Replace the bellows every other day. 
There are many key advantages to PCAI. PCAI requires only two breeding technicians maximum, although one technician can perform the task. This means the labor savings of PCAI can be applied to other high value areas, such as day one pig care. We ended up approaching um, DNA and wanting to get into the program. I think we were the first customer for Ontario. The reason we wanted to, we wanted to save time because I was spending almost all the day breeding, so it was very valuable to us if I could free some time up. PCAI is faster than traditional artificial insemination. It's not uncommon to save four to five minutes per breeding. Again, the labor savings can be transferred to other areas of the farm. PCAI has allowed the best breeders to have their hands on every sow that's bred, whether it be through heat checking or the insertion of the rod or processing the semen into the, into the sow. They're, they're able to check every one of those processes along the way. PCAI requires a fewer number of sperm cells and less volume of semen extender. This results in a lower cost of goods for insemination. PCAI reduces the amount of time spent handling boars which improves safety. Finally, PCAI allows higher indexing bores to be spread across more matings. PCAI has been a big benefit. Mainly has been the time savings. Um, at a farm this size, um, we figure we're saving four to five minutes a sow. At a farm this size, that's equaling, uh, we have 1,200 matings a week, so we're saving up to 60 hours a week just in, in manpower. PCI is a very uh, simple process, so it's, it's not hard to catch on to at all. It's very similar to the traditional AI. You'll love the time savings and the results you get, you're not going to be dissatisfied with that at all. It's, it's something you'll, you won't regret it, trust me. After utilizing PCAI, I would not go back to traditional AI, mainly from a time saving standpoint and how efficient our breed barns are ran today. Thank you for your time. For more information on PCAI or DNA genetics, contact your sales representative or visit our website. We are DNA Genetics. Best people, best pig, best genetic option.